Hello all, my name is Krishna. I come welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, today we are going to discuss about this particular library which is called as Vulture. And as the name suggests, I hope you have seen Vulture birds. You know, they, they actually feed on dead organism or dead uh, creatures itself, right? You, here you can see a lot of examples. This is how a Vulture looks like, you know. And similarly, with respect to Python, you know, there is an, this open source library is called as Vulture. And its main use is that it will try to find dead code. So it finds unused code in Python programs. This is useful for cleaning up and finding errors in large code bases. Probably see, you have a bigger team. Everybody has some different amount of knowledge of programming. So, so some people may create some additional uh, variables. They may not use that particular variable, you know, and there may be some functions which will not be, you know, that function may not be actually required, you know, probably it is not getting called somewhere, but still people or developer forget to delete that specific functions and all, right? So in order to, uh, if you use this particular library, it will be able to find out all the unused code in your specific project. To begin with, what I'm going to do is that I'll just go back to my uh, spider ID over here. Let me do, first of all, I'll just go to my Anaconda prompt. I will activate my environment, right? My first task is basically to install the Vulture library. In order to install, just write pip install Vulture. And once you install it, here you can see requirement is already satisfied since I've done it. Before going ahead with respect to this particular video, this video has been sponsored by Unacademy. So Unacademy has come up with its Pariksha series for GATE 2021 for CS or IT and ECE. This particular test series is actually starting on Feb 8th. And if you try to see this, this is uh, Pariksha series for GATE 21 test series, specially curated to help in the last stage before GATE 2021 test. The test consists of three length mock tests with 65 questions each and will have to be solved in 180 minutes. You can also find out the, all the, in the other information over here. You can see that on Feb 8th, you have the mock test 1. Then on Feb uh, 9th, you have the mock test 2. Similarly, on Feb 10th, you have mock test 3. Similarly, is the pattern for ECE. Uh, so from Feb 1st, you have the mock test 1. Feb 2, you have the mock test 2. And Feb 3, you have the mock test 3. So you can actually participate in this by enrolling it. Please don't forget to use the code that is KN06. Apart from this, guys, you can also check out uh, the GATE and ESE Plus plans, uh, which is basically curated by the Indian best educators uh, with interactive life classes, structures courses and PDF and live test and quizzes. If you really want to know more information regarding this, all the information will be given in the description of this particular video. And remember, the spider is actually running in that same environment. Now let's see the specific code, okay? So here it says Vulture finds unused and dead code. So what we are actually going to do quickly is that here is a very, very simple code that we have actually written. So suppose if I write import OS, right? And here I've created a class called as greeter. Inside this, there is a function which is called as define greet and print hi. Then similarly, we have a different uh, function which is called as defined hello world. And from this name function, we are calling this hello world function, right? Now here you can see, first of all, this is the message that we have initialized inside hello world. Then your greeter method is called, probably this will execute print hi. And after that, you are basically using a get attribute with greeter function with this specific message also. And then probably you are calling this greet underscore function. This is just like a greet get underscore at get attribute, which will actually help you to get the reference of this particular function. Now. If I really want to find out which are the unused code over here, probably see this message variable is nowhere used. Your import OS is nowhere used, right? So if I try to execute, let's see how to execute this. So first of all, I want to check whether there is unused code in this. So what I'll do, I'll just go to my, this particular path, right? Uh, what I'll do is that I'll remove this right now. I'll write CD E. I'll go to my E drive because, uh, it's it's in the e drive right my code is basically saved in the e drive i'll activate my environment my env and after this what i'm going to do is that in order to run it you should remember the file name test.py before remembering this just go to the same location of this particular file path so i'll write cd and i'll execute it so here we are in the same path let me just clean the screen and then now i will write vulture test.py so in order to execute this vulture code to find out unused code, we basically have to use this vulture with space test.py. Once I execute it, here you'll be able to see that unused import OS with 90% confidence it is able to give it. Unused variable message 
with 60 percentage of co confidence you know probably i would just want to use some more libraries so suppose i'll say import pandas as pd okay import numpy usually we do this right if even though we are not using this library in data science you know we try to write this right and after this what we do is that probably i want to create some more variable where is equal to one two three and uh, probably after this see here also anyhow we'll be getting this warning message right this warning message is because of the kite id that i'm actually using if you really want to explore kite id the link will be given in the description you can also check out that uh, probably uh, what i can do is that suppose i can just write where 2 is equal to 123 plus 34 and then where 3 i'm just initializing 10. now let's see now if i try to save this and probably execute it once again so here i will try to write again vulture test.py now here you can see os 90 percent confidence pd 90 percent where where 2 where 3 message message is also not getting used uh, so all this information is very very clearly visible and you're not able to see this right so a very very good way to find unused code probably after seeing this i'll just go and probably remove all these libraries because i'm not using it probably i'll not be using this see here also you are getting this particular symbol it is because of kite id but other than that if you have a huge project it is very very difficult to just check each and everything uh, like this in each and every file you may be having 100 files 200 files but this virtual library will be an amazing way to basically check what all things you can actually do in this right so i hope you like this particular video please do subscribe the channel and yes use vulture which feeds on dead organisms similarly it feeds on dead code it will help you to find out the dead code itself right so yes i'll see you all in the next video have a great day thank you and all bye bye